Alright guys, it's girls, it's Jernigam here. I found something serious on the TV. Terrorists could use a deadly could use a deadly blow weapons to attack Brit Britain after COVID nineteen warns Tony Blair. Does this mean the war what we're looking for? I know we're not looking for a war. We don't want a war. But it's just the excuse that they'll be making to make war, is what I'm trying to say. Um is this what's going to happen? We have to look a bit more into this. So terrorists could use deadly weapons below weapons to attack Britain after COVID-19. Does this mean the Taliban will come to the UK and attack the British people, the army and everybody else? Will the Taliban come to the UK? Will some of them sneak on boats and come over? Or will they just attack the British army in Afghanistan? The base is there, even though they're not there anymore. The Americans are not in Afghanistan anymore. So will it come to our soils? Let's see what happens and what Tony Blair says. We need also to assess our vulnerability. COVID-19 has taught us about deadly pathogens. Bioterror possibilities may seem like the realm of science fiction, but we would be wise now to prepare for their potential use by non-state actors. Islamism, both the ideology and the violence, is a first-order security threat. An unchecked, it will come to us, even if centered far from us, as 9-11 demonstrated. The analysis, analysis published recently by Dr. El Badawi from my institute shows how the roots of Islam stretch back over many decades, grew in strength long before 9-11, and it examines the links between the ideology and the violence. This is supplemented by the excellent analysis of the Ulema state concept by Ahmed Kuru, and by the annual report we published of jihadist groups, I don't know why think keeps jumping. which shows that this is a global challenge and one that is getting worse. The ideology, whether Shia promulgated by the Islamic Republic of Iran or Sunni promoted by groups on a spectrum from the Muslim Brotherhood through to Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Boko Haram and many others, has been the principal cause of destabilization across the Middle East and beyond and today in Africa. Nearly everything about 9-11 and its aftermath, particularly now, is mired in controversy. What cannot be seriously disputed, however, is that since 9-11, though thankfully there's been no further terrorist attack of that scale, radical Islam has not declined in force. There we are. There's definitely something coming, as Tony Blair's warning. And he's saying that uh, terrorists could be using deadly flat blows. It could be true. There's something definitely coming. To make sure that you... I could keep saying it. But anyway, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, tell me what you think. Am I right or am I wrong? See you next video, peace. Is war coming? Well, it's going to be worse than World War War 3 or 4. Who knows what's going to come on? What happen? But this is de definitely serious. Our soldiers could be in danger, we could be in danger as well. It won't be like World War One and World War Two where they come over and bomb us, it'd be a lot worse. How would they get over here? Boats, ships, aeroplanes if they can find them. I don't know about about aeroplanes, but it could kick off. It could be like a race war. Muslims and white people and black people in the UK. Could be wrong. But anyway, send this video peace. Thank you, Joe Peace.